In this video, we're going to talk about the new upcoming Inazuma 11 movie. We're going to be looking at every piece of information I could possibly find, and I'm going to be throwing in a bunch of my own speculation to help paint a picture of what this movie should look like. And yes, I am filming this on my phone because I have managed to lose my camera in my move to a new flat. But without further ado, let's dive in. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is just take a look at this trailer. I don't want to watch the whole thing, mostly because I'm terrified I'm going to get copyright stricken because it is essentially just season one footage followed by victory road footage but yeah so as you can see it's basically showcasing what the two parts are going to be you've got your first part which is just very much a compilation of season one as you will see as we will go on with this video it's just going to be season one legendary kickoff here and the second part with Unme, briar and thierry Henry, wherever he is there we go thierry um, and it is the cutscenes from the first, uh, the first part, of the first chapter of the Victory Road game. Harper Evans here in that um, North Bright match. Is that the name of the team? I think that they're taking on. Um, and I think there was a bit from this guy who everyone thinks is Jude's son. Or is this the guy everyone thinks is Jude's son? I think it is because it says Keto on the back. Uh, but yeah, and then this is the Victory Road prologue. We get this, this really cool little visual of Harper in front of his dad, looking awesome. And then this really cool visual of the two parts of the movie. And there's the release date in Japanese cinemas, the, tw the, the tw I was gonna say the 12th of the 27th. That's not a date. Uh, I, was, I can't read numbers. The 27th of December. And there we go. That is the trailer. But let's break it down a little because I mean, one, the trailer's in Japanese. Also featured in the trailer, uh, I think the new songs from T-Pistons that they made for this uh, movie, there's two. But we'll get into that as we go. Let's take a look at some more information. First thing we're gonna look at is the actual bloody website for the movie. Uh, the uh, Level 5's website, they've got inazuma.jp slash movie, and it's got all this information. So that's the cool little logo for just the, the thing as a whole, Inazuma 11, the movie 2025. Then we've got the um, the actual, like obviously the trailer, this nice little visual. Um, and we can come down here and take a look at some slightly more some slightly more information. Inazuma 11 movie, the legendary kickoff. This is a compilation of the matches from Inazuma 11 Football Frontier, the first game in the Inazuma 11 series. Uh, blah, 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 blah. We know all of this. It's just, it's just telling us about what the first season's about. But yeah, so this is literally, it's just a compilation of the first season. I don't think, unfortunately, I, I think in my original video, I speculated that maybe they'd be remaking some scenes or remastering some scenes but i think this is very much going to be along the lines of think um the first like the first half of the ogre movie where it is kind of just the first season again i don't imagine it's even going to do what the ogre movie does where it does doesn't the ogre movie have it where it's like a little bit beforehand so you get to see like some players of the original seven join them i, I know there's at least one thing in a zoom rather have done where you get to see like Steve and Kevin and whatnot join the football club. I can't remember if that's Ogre or it might be Reloaded. I can't remember, but I don't think it'll have anything like that. I think it's going to quite literally be a compilation. The fact it says a compilation of the matches, I'm curious what's actually like what is actually going to be compiled because it's a, 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 assuming you know it's a typical movie length. It's going to be 45 minutes, uh, obviously to make a 90 minute hole. So a compilation of the matches, that's that, that's a lot to shorten into 45 minutes. So, I wonder how quick it's going to be and how much it's going to cut. It could be interesting, to be fair. But one thing I want to talk about later in this video is why exactly they're doing this in particular. Why they're doing Inazuma 11 1 compilation of matches. We'll get into that. But, next is the next segment. Inazuma 11 the movie, prologue to the new heroes. Animation Studio Mapper dynamically depicts the prologue to the latest series, Inner Zoom Run Heroes Victory Road. Some of the animation scenes not included. <laughs> it just feels a bit weird to. I, 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 wouldn't, I assume what they, wonder what they mean by animation scenes. Do they mean like the in game scenes, or do they actually mean some of the cutscenes are not in this? That's weird. That, that, that's just a bit weird, isn't it? If you're making a compilation of your cutscenes and you're not including all of your cutscenes. I don't know, I find that a bit odd. Um, in the, some of the animation scenes not included in the world. Oh, wait, I'm stupid. I just didn't read the rest of the sentence. I'm so stupid. Some of the animation scenes not included in the worldwide beta test trial version currently available for free are also included. I, I'm an idiot. I just didn't read the rest of the sentence. Okay, so what it, <laughs> what it actually means 
and this is really cool, is that <laughs> um, it's not just going to be cutscenes from the games. There is also going to be some, I guess, like deleted scenes type stuff. There's going to be some deleted scenes type stuff in this. It's going to be more cutscenes than are just in the game, which is cool. I guess they've got to get up to 45 minutes somehow. But what I wonder, what are they going to do in regards to the bits in between the cutscenes? Are they just going to kind of animate that as like a mini, like a little cutscene? Or are they going to do like wall of text? Like, Unmei fought the Kraken. You know what I mean? Are they going to do stuff like that? I'm not sure. But okay, the protagonist, Unmei, transfers to Nagumo. Yeah, we know this. Meanwhile, Endu Haru, who has demonstrated his natural talent reigns of the top of his generation, also has complicated feelings about soccer. The unexpected encounter between these two opens the door to new heroes. Okay, see? So, the, the way this is worded, if this is meant to be the synopsis of the movie, maybe I'm speculating a bit too close to the sun here, and this is my Icarus moment. But it does sound like surely Unmei and Endu Haru have to meet in this prologue to the new heroes. Or at least there's going to be more of an emphasis on Endu Haru. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Maybe I'm speculating too close to the sun. But it surely, surely, I don't know. Uh, anyway, is that, that's everything here. Moving on. Crunchyroll posted about it. That's cool. Um, I've seen some people say that, oh, this means that it's getting released with Crunchyroll or on Crunchyroll or whatever. I think Crunchyroll just kind of posts about anything, to be fair. Um, I don't think I think, don't think they're particularly picky. And so I don't think this means that it's going to be on Crunchyroll, which, I mean, would be really cool. I've cancelled my Crunchyroll subscription, so I guess I'd still be screwed. But it, it, it would be cool. It'd be nice to see Inazuma 11 get that kind of platform. But I don't think that mean, this means that. Uh, but Inazuma 11, the movie, 2025, what a name. Hits Japanese theatres on December 27. I never understood this. Why is it Inazuma 11, the movie, 2025? It comes out in bloody 2024. Anyway, um, it's this is just information we know. The four original voice cast members, um, like so the original cast members for Mark, uh, Axel, Jude, and Aphrodite are listed on the site. Well, at least we know the Zeus match is going to be in it. Uh, that's cool, though, but I mean, this is because it's just a compilation of the original season. If they didn't return, that would be a little concerning. Um, and then, in his in the movie, Prologue of the New Heroes tells a prologue to the story of Inazuma Victory Road, the latest installment in the series. We in charge of anime production of the film. The game's cast members are confirmed to reprise their role in the film. Hmm, what an interesting development, crunchy role. It's almost like that's because it's just going to be game cutscenes. Mm hmm. Um, anyway, let's move on to the final um, thing I'm going to be looking at in this video. The Inazuma Frontier. The Inazuma Frontier are amazing, and you should absolutely go and look at all of their news updates. Um, but they made a little thing about Inazuma Revenue the movie 2025, and here they just have a, bit, a little bit of information that we can go off and we can use to basically get more excited, I guess. There's no new content in the first half, we know that. Um, as we you know, as we've gone on about, but there is obviously a new song performed by T Pistons, who are the guys who make the instrumental music, called Gan Gan Gagan. What a name! Love it. The second part, the prologue of the new heroes, is an adaptation of the beginning of the Victory Road story using the game cutscenes and adding new scenes, including the match between Raimon and Northbright. And the main theme will be a new song by T Pistons titled Yusha No Tamashi. The soul of heroes. I want to know what Gan Gan Gagan means. If you're telling me that this means the soul of heroes, I need to know what Gan Gan Gagan means. That, that could mean anything. I, I need to know. But yeah, so obviously we know information has been released regarding releasing other countries at this time. I look, I hope it comes to my local cinema. I'll be there day one. I'll, I won't even just be there day one. I'll be there every day. I support level five. Let's go, Hino. But yeah, so I think the best, the most interesting information to take from this is the fact that we will get new scenes involving the match between Raimon and North Bright. Will we get to see that whole match? And again, what I think we need to kind of look at a bit is the fact that this is meant to be the second part of a feature film, which again, feature films are generally about 90 minutes. I think there's only about half an hour worth of cutscenes in the in Instagram 50 Road, um, like chapter one, I think. So, I, I feel like I remember hearing that. So, that means we need another 15 minutes of animation. Theoretically. We know there's going to be some probably linking in between certain scenes. We know there's going to be some extra deleted scenes type deal. So, I assume maybe we'll get to see, not maybe the full match, 
but a lot more of that match, which is exciting. Maybe we'll see some cool special moves. Surely, because then I'm also thinking, I mean, I guess they're kind of getting all their match stuff out of the way early, aren't they? With like the, the um, you know what I mean? The seize the first part, which is just a compilation of matches. So I, I guess the, they might get all their match out of the way, but the first half of Victory Road is, or the first chapter of Victory Road, sorry, is obviously very football-less. There's not a whole lot of football in there. So I guess they might use the Raimon North Bright match to kind of throw in some more football here and there. Maybe. I don't know. I'm just, Again, we're just kind of speculating here. But hopefully we get to see a lot more of the match. Hopefully we get to see some special moves. It would be sick. That would be the kind of thing that would make me a lot more excited for Victory Road. Which now, let's talk about what this means for Victory Road and the future of Level 5. So first of all, let's just get the elephant out of the room. This is going to come out December 27th, 2024. Industry Run Victory Road is not releasing this year. I mean, I imagine people probably kind of knew that already deep down in their hearts. But I don't see a world where this basically preview film for Victory Road built off of the beta that is very much used to get people up to speed and excited about the new game. I mean, look at the fact that they're compiling Season 1 into the first part of this film. Now, that could mean some other things, which we'll get into into us in a sec, but I think that's more so to get new viewers up to speed with Inazuma 11. Teach you what it is, show you a bunch of football, then show you the first chapter of the game, so that then you go, ooh, I want this. I will buy it when it comes out. Now, I do think we're gonna get the release date before this movie comes out, because surely it makes sense. Surely you slap at the end, now again, this is just speculation, but surely you slap at the end of this movie, in a zoom around Victory Road, find out the full story, this date, March 22nd, I don't know, you know what I mean? Surely you slap that at the end of your movie. If this is essentially just going to be getting people excited, getting new viewers in, getting new players hooked, surely that's what it is. It's got to be. Like, you've got to have the, I mean, uh, what, the release date should be revealed in Level 5 Vision. Decent chance, all we'll say, is we're just going to delay the game. Hopefully, we get some kind of proper release date um, before this movie. I mean, maybe, maybe there's the off chance that this movie releases about the same time. And maybe it's like a January 11th release date. Or even a December 29th release date, which would be stupid, because surely they'd release it before Christmas. Maybe they release it before Christmas. And I, I don't know. Again, now we're just kind of speculating all sorts of stuff. But my my gut, my guess, and again, don't take this as fact, my guess would be that this is a, a movie that's going to be released to build excitement for the new game with the release date at the end of the movie, which will be revealed beforehand, and then the game comes out first half of 2025. That's my genuine guess. Then you've got the question of what does it mean that the first half is a compilation film? namely a compilation of season one. Now, the boring but logical answer is that it's literally just to both fill time so that this can actually get released in cinemas as a feature film, because obviously that's a, that's a great way of building excitement. Anime films are a big deal nowadays. Um, you look at like the recent Blue Lock movie, which I went and saw in cinemas, and that was sick. Um, so I imagine it was mostly just to get this in cinemas. We needed 45 minutes. Oh, look at this really successful thing we've done. Let's put that in. You know what I mean? Like, let's just compile that. Let's give it an intern a job to do for a couple days. It wouldn't take... I, I mean, I could make a 45-minute compilation. You know what I mean? In 20 minutes. I guess not 20 minutes. I mean, like, watch the footage. But you know what I mean? Like, it's not the hardest task in the world. So I can see why they're doing it um, as, like, an easy way to slap 45 minutes onto this film. But then I guess we could start speculating and we can go, does this maybe mean that some, you know, season one becoming a bit more relevant, bringing it back to the forefront. I want to talk about the fact that level five are announcing some new games at the four vision. And it's Zoomer 11 one remaster or remake or it coming to switch. Maybe I, I look, I'm just throwing out a guess here and Obviously, Hino has gone on record and talked. Well, I don't think he's gone on record, but I think he said in the ambassador meeting that looking at a potential remake um, is maybe something they will be looking at. Uh, you know what I mean? It's something that he would maybe like to do. This could be a thing that's happening. Again, this is just me clinging to a thread and hoping. But you never know. Look, you never know. 
Uh, but yeah, that's basically everything we know about the upcoming Inazuma 11 movies. Every piece of information I could find, plus my own speculation. I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure you have a lovely, lovely night, week, month, rest of your year. Like, comment, subscribe, and bye.